Let's create a web page in five minutes. First, we need a text editor, and so I'm going to use Sublime, but you can use whatever text editor you'd like. Just make sure it's in plain text and not rich text. And we're going to save this file as an index.html, and notice the extension here. It's .html. That's because we're going to be writing HTML code. And so HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and it's just something we can use to code up a quick web page. And so inside of this file, we're going to write arrow, exclamation point, doc type, HTML, closing the arrow. And then under that, we're going to write HTML opening tag and then the HTML closing tag. And so everything in HTML is written in tags, or mostly everything. Like this whole thing is an HTML tag. The first part is the opening tag, and the second part is the closing tag. And so this is kind of just boilerplate, you know, saying this is an HTML document. We haven't really added anything yet. And so inside of these HTML tags, the opening and closing, we are going to add a head tag and then close that tag. And then we're also going to add a body opening tag and a body closing tag. And this is just separating our HTML into two parts the head, which basically holds the metadata of the application, and the body, which holds the actual content of our application. This may make you know, no sense right now, but I promise it will make sense in a second. Before we see what happens with this code so far, we're gonna add one little piece of content. We're gonna add something called an H1 tag. And so, you know, it's gonna be like the other tags where you have these two arrows and then you have whatever you want that tag to be in the middle. And so H1 stands for header one. It's the biggest type of header you can have. For this header, our text is gonna be hello world. And then we're gonna close the tag saying, this is the text we want to be as a header one. And so if we save this, we go back here, we click this, drag it over Google Chrome, and there's hello world in nice, big, and bold letters. And so now that we have our header, we can actually add some more content. And so we are gonna add an H3, which is just a smaller type of header, and we're gonna say the text will be blue, and you'll see what this does in a second, but basically the headers go from H1 to H6, with H1 being the biggest and boldest header, and H6 as being the smallest type of header. And so if we have blue, we can refresh this and see that blue indeed does appear down there. We can also add something called a paragraph tag, and so again, you have this opening tag, and then you put whatever text you want in the middle. And so I'm gonna put red, and then I'm gonna close the paragraph tag, we'll refresh our main page, and now we have hello world blue and red. And notice red is not bold because it is in a paragraph tag, a P tag, whereas hello world and blue are bold because they are in header tags. We can also add an image with an image tag. Again, you get it, everything in HTML, it's all in these tags. And so we'll say this image will go right underneath red, and we will say, IMG saying this is going to be an image tag, SRC, which is just the source, and we're going to say it comes from this URL we'll put in later, and then we will close the tag. And so I already have an image picked out over here, and we'll just paste it in. I'll put this image down below if you're curious and want to use it yourself. We save it, we refresh, and there it is. If for some reason, like your hello world and your blue, your red, your image, they're not showing up, your updates you know, to the code are not showing up, make sure that this code is saved. And so I've just been doing command S because I'm on a Mac, but if you go to file and save, just make sure you're continuously saving this file because that is what this URL up here is accessing. And so if this code is not saved, then it's just going to be using the old version of the code, which doesn't have your updates. Now going back to the code, say we want to add some space between, you know, the paragraph tag and the image tag. Well, we can add some BRs, and this is just break lines. We can add a bunch of these, and there'll be some more space between the paragraph and the image. And so if we refresh this, there we go, we have some more space, and it's because we have these break lines here. Now, this document is not, it's not very pretty. It's pretty ugly. There's this big old image, it doesn't really go with the text. Can we make it prettier? Yes, with CSS, which you'll see in next Friday's video. And so it'll be all about CSS in five minutes. See you then.